My name is Tora Ngomo, and um, I was born and bred in Bulawayo. So um, my art journey started a long time ago. I used to draw cartoons, uh, get into competitions with some of my peers, um, drawing uh, cartoons. So that's where I started um, um, knowing that I have, I have something, I have a, a talent in, in drawing. Then um, I went to Solosi Adventist High School. Um, that's where I chose uh, to do art as a practical. So from there, um, my teacher was uh, the late Mr. Genuine. So basically, the man is, uh, is the, the, the one who brought me up in terms of art, art theory, um, and uh, the, 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 the art practical. My inspiration, uh, number one, um, I get my inspiration from God. Number two, it's nature. I do have um, some artists that, I, that, that I, I, I love their work that I've been following for quite some time now. The likes of um, Tafuma Kutsa, um, Charles Nkomo, Charles Pepe, um, uh, and the, the, uh, some of the, 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 the legend, the legendary greats. Uh, the likes of uh, Leonardo da Vinci and um, some of the, 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 the art masters. So basically, um, that's uh, how I get my inspiration. Coming um, to this particular art piece that I did right next to me here, um, it's a piece uh, to me so far, it's uh, my best piece uh, in terms of um, realism, in terms of um, uh, pencil drawing so far in my career as an artist. So this piece here took me about, yeah, exactly it took me two months to complete this piece. So for me, it's a, it's, it's a masterpiece because um, I, I put in a lot of work into it, a lot of time, uh, a lot of material in producing this type of work. So basically, um, uh, the reason why I chose uh, to do uh, this, this piece here, the muse that I, that I had to use, it's um, a picture that I... I found on the internet of um, one of our prominent figures here in Zimbabwe. Um, his name is uh, Elder Kuda Takwire. So yeah, um, I decided to, to 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 use this picture because to me it's it, it speaks volumes. Um, to me personally, uh, is an inspiration um, uh, because. Ever since I, I, I came uh, to realize a lot of things um, happening, I have seen him. He's always there in, 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 within our, our, our circles. He's always there in terms of business. And um, I, I, I have an, uh, an advantage of seeing him speaking live uh, at times. At times, uh, there are also other places like at church where I, I used to go some, uh, some of the times and I see him there. So yeah, basically to me, he's a person that I have learned a lot of things from. So I decided to um, yeah, capture some of uh, his moments and uh, uh, document them down and give him his flowers while he's still, still alive. So basically, uh, what I what, the the type of medium that I used, 
I used charcoal. I used charcoal products, charcoal blocks, charcoal pencils, charcoal powder. Um, so basically, that's um, the, the the only medium that I used. Uh, charcoal on pencil. So yeah, basically, it's uh, my greatest work uh, that I've done so far. Um, if you look closely um, to this uh, uh, particular piece, uh, the I, I tried like to to bring out the emotion that was that was within. I tried to bring the best. Um, that you, you can actually see that this uh, a person, I believe God gave me a power to create. So uh, I, I'm, I, 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 I am a mini creator. I, I cannot breathe air into something for it to live. But I believe I can, with my brush and my pencil, I can create something that's almost close to um, the, 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 the type of... Um, medium that God um, used. So basically, um, this is uh, Mr. K, Dr. K Takwire, and um, I am the artist. For my exhibitions um, so far, apart from uh, this work that I have and the, and the other pencil portraits that I usually do um, from time to time, I have done um, exhibitions in the past, in the past years. Um, last year, I did uh, a total number of three exhibitions. The first exhibition uh, was uh, at Lion and Cheetah Park in Harare. The second one, it was in Blawayo, it's, um, it was called um, the Winter Affair. Then the third one was the uh, Jakaranda Art Festival in Harare. So basically last year I did um, a, total of, a, total, a total number of three exhibitions. Um, apart from this I've got paintings, um, I do abstract paintings, I do semi-abstract paintings. Um, uh, and I do uh, a, a, a mixed type of mixed media as well. Um, then going to my support, um, I have a number of people that support uh, my, my, my career, that support my hustle as an artist. I've got my family and I've got my friends. Um, and I also have my, 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 my clients that support me from time to time. And obviously, the media team, they are always by my side, advising me and giving me insights of what to do in the future. Um, well, as an, artist, uh, as an artist, there are challenges here and there, but as for me, I take those challenges as uh, stepping stones. Uh, I take those challenges and uh, create a positivity around them. Because as an artist, uh, I do not do this on the basis of getting money um, or, 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 getting, or getting fame, famous. I'm doing this for the long run. I'm an artist, I live art, I should work art, I eat art, I should do everything artistically. So basically, um, as, uh, to me, I would like to do uh, bigger, bigger art, art pieces. I would like to do more of art. So, uh, time permitting and resources permitting, uh, it's my wish to do much, much bigger pieces. Um, 
also do pieces that I have to donate maybe to, 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 to old people's homes, to uh, hospitals, to children's homes, etc. So basically, um, that's what I have uh, for now. Um, this industry needs patience. No matter the, the, the resources you have, you might have pencils, you might have charcoal, firewood can be your medium that you can use to create a masterpiece. So it's patience and it's resilience. You must just be resilient in doing your thing. If it's, uh, it's within you, you can't, be, you can't be housed or you can't be blinkered on not doing art because you don't have material. Obviously material, time here and there, you need material, but even recycled items can be your type of medium that you can use. So basically, it's resilience, it's patience, yeah, and not looking at, at money, because art, it's, it's a language. We communicate using art. So basically, from uh, 2023, here where I am, to uh, let's say maybe 2018, I would need my art to be speaking on my behalf. Though maybe I, would, I wouldn't have made it to that time. So basically, it's not about the money, it's not about uh, the fame, it's about communicating and conveying, uh, a, a, conveying a message to me, to the generation to follow, and the generations to follow.